was really cool. This is actually the second generation, and you can tell by the dark gray cone. The first generation had a more of a silver matte cone, and that cone was actually a vacuum form cone, and we learned in the SPL field, you know, from a lot of trials that sometimes that cone could actually fracture under extreme pressure. So we went back and did some redesigns on this back in 2007, introduced the, the Series 2, which you see here. Uh, they originally had the, the foam surround, and then when we went to the new version, which had the injection molded cone, we went to a Santa Prime surround. And once again, that's got that large rolls on the corners to make sure that woofer had plenty of travel. Now, how easy were these woofers to recone? I'm going to flip it over here so I can do it. You simply would take out the screws on the front of the woofer and pull this cone assembly out. So this was kind of a neat process where this whole assembly would come out without having to dismount the magnet in the basket. Because uh, once again, this was actually pretty heavy. So these were available in dual one, dual two, and dual four ohm versions. And unfortunately, right now we're going to offer the the new version in a dual one and dual two. It just doesn't seem to be a need for the dual four. We always try to you know follow the trends, and you know do what's necessary to make sure you guys get the products you want. So a couple other really unique design features on this woofer. If you look right in the center of this woofer, you see this funny looking thing right here. Well, that's what we call the Arctic cap, and I'm not going to go into the acronyms because I can't remember what that one means. Uh, the spare was a simple pull-apart insertable replacement. But this Arctic cap was kind of cool because it was kind of a predecessor to our forced air cooling technology. So what we did, we took that center pole piece, and I can't take this off, but you've seen center pole pieces that you know, have a vent through the center. We took that pole piece and we actually cut it in square. So we cut it this way and we cut it this way to break up that pole piece. That did a couple different things for us. First thing it did was it gave us more surface area to dissipate the heat. So there's a lot of heat that builds up in that pole piece and then that's then transferred to the back of the speaker to the back plate, which is kind of like the radiator. But by cutting that, that X pattern in that, that center pole piece, it not only gave us a little bit more surface area for cooling, but it helped break up the magnetic eddy currents that actually creates heat inside metal. If you guys have ever seen the videos where they take a coil of wire, which just is a magnetic field, and they put it over a bolt or they run a chain through it and it instantly gets red hot, that magnetic field can actually induce heat into the metal, and that's what that, that X pattern cutting into the, the pole piece would help to eliminate. It decreased those magnetic eddy currents, therefore reducing the heat built up even more. Unfortunately, it was a very costly process to do, and uh, it was probably not a lot of fun because they either had to saw or grind those, those, those slashes in that woofer. And then, of course, this Arctic cap was designed to direct that air down through the vents in that pole piece to make sure you had great cooling. This speaker also featured a one-inch thick top plate. So this is the top plate of the speaker. So it was one inch thick at the outside edge, but on the inside edge, right where the voice coil is, I don't think you can see it in this version, you can't, um, but there's actually a little step. So it's what we called a T-cut top plate, or sorry, this was the L-cut top plate, where there's a step on the top side of about a quarter of an inch. So it took that one inch thick top plate, you add another quarter of an inch, that gave you a height of the gap of one and a quarter inches. So huge magnetic area, which gave this thing so much force.